Hi, uh, I'm Leah, and I'm going to talk to you a bit about my four-week company that, oh, cool, um, and all the romance that went along with it. So on August 12th, I received an email that made my heart sink into my stomach. And I think probably several of you got it, 10 million people got it. And Amazon was very helpful in telling me that the glasses that I picked up for the eclipse are, may or may not cause irreparable damage to my eyesight. And it was a reasonable concern because looking at the sun will damage your eyes. <laughs> and <laughs> specifically during the eclipse, the levels of the light are low and uh, you don't have any pain receptors in your retina so you don't know that your eyeballs are burning. And that's why the eclipse glasses are required to let in no more than 0.003% of the sun's rays. And typically, glasses, sunglasses let in about 20% of the sun's rays. And while all of that is extremely frightening, that's really not why I was really panicking. And so what happened is two weeks before, I decided to launch uh, my own Halo Eclipse brand. And so while Amazon was telling everybody to be worried about Chinese Eclipse glasses, I was waiting for a cargo shipment with thousands of dollars worth coming in from Shenzhen. So the idea came up over drinks when we were, my friends and I were talking about how utilitarian these glasses looked. And I thought that, you know, yeah, you're only going to look at them for three hours, but the pictures will be online forever. So we needed these new glasses. And I had three and a half weeks to pull this all together, which was just barely enough time. So I figured I had a plan. I was going to get a sunglasses filter manufacturer and connect them with somebody who makes make decent looking glasses. And I've had some experience making custom uh, products in China, so I really recommend it. And what I usually do is, if it's really simple, go directly to the manufacturer in Alibaba. For something that's a little bit more complex, I ended up going to Upwork to find an experience sourcing agent. So I ended up hiring Kurt from Hong Kong and he really helped manage the manufacturing process. He immediately found a filter, a frame manufacturer and then also got a, a filter lens supplier. And so he helped me through the paperwork and, and one of the things that came up was learning about ISO 12312-2, which is the standard for international safety for eclipse glasses. And so several of the lens manufacturers didn't actually had counterfeit glasses, which is what Amazon was talking about, which prompted me to include a safety page on my website, so, which I asked my husband to write. And he's a scientist, so true to form, he went and found the original research of the author of 12312-2, Dr. Ralph Chu. So I felt pretty good on the safety side, and I thought the glasses turned out pretty well. And I, I ended up doing, just to make sure, doing my own test on my home spectrometer, which everyone has, right? It's super normal. Um, so anyway, back to August 12th. The only glasses that were not uh, rec that were that were exempt from the recall were the ones were that were on the American Astronomical Society's website. They had put together a task force with NASA called the Solar Eclipse Task Force. So these heroes of eclipse truth and eye safety had uh, valid had. Uh, had put these 14 brands on their list and basically anybody who wasn't on the list was de facto toxic eyewear, even if it was fine. So I knew that I had to get on Halo on the list, so I ended up sending all my information to the AAS main, main contact, Rick Feinberg, who responded to me in 15 minutes because the AAS has about one week of peak influence every five to 25 years. <laughs> so what, unfortunately, Rick, <laughs> Rick didn't think Halo made the cut, and he actually compared my Shenzhen lab to a rib rack diploma mill. This is real email. Um, but he still ended up sending our materials to this expert, his favorite expert and his friend, Dr. Ralph Chu, who read our safety page, and he's like, wow, they really know what they're talking about. So uh, that morning at 11 a.m., uh, Halo Clips became the 15th and final member on the list, AAS Solar Exhibit. Solar Task Force. So what happened next was kind of crazy. Um, I sold out my first batch in three hours. I got picked up by a news story, and then I had 280,000 people come to my website in the week. It was really awesome. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, on the day of the eclipse, my husband and I ended up in, on a bridge in the middle of Wyoming. And then we sat in traffic for 20 hours like everyone else. And it was spectacular. 
So I'm going to do it again in 2019, and I hope you'll join me in South America. I'm going to launch La Anti Ojos Helos. Yeah. <laughs>